We get asked a lot of times, what is the acceptable condition of a vehicle at the end of a lemon walk case? The rules are the same as when you lease a vehicle and you're surrendering possession of the vehicle at the end of the lease term. The vehicle cannot have excessive damage wear and tear. You're allowed to have normal wear and tear, which comes from simple use of the vehicle. However, if there are major broken components, major scratches and torn out parts, seats are torn out or other parts that are missing, then the manufacturer has a right to charge the consumer for these components. The basic idea is that the manufacturer is obligated to refund the payments because the vehicle is defective, but the consumer is obligated to return the same vehicle that was sold to him or her in the beginning. The consumer cannot return a vehicle that's missing a fender or has a broken mirror or has bald tires and is not drivable, is unsafe because of these conditions.